Hey, so in the last, you know, couple of videos ago, I actually showed you how you can toggle colors for 30 objects. Like, you know, you can click here and then you can change the color for the leaves. Maybe you want to change the color for the ground or maybe some other object in 3D world. Um, in this video, I'm go I want to show you how you can, you know, pick the color instead of just changing it to the pink or maybe you want to change it to some other color. Maybe you want to make it blue or maybe yellow or some other color or like orange or something. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can pick the color and then use it. You know, it's kind of like combining this video with the, the, the toggle color video. And then it's like a combination, it's like a part 2 of that video where we can toggle this color. So, but you can watch it, you know, separately as well if you understand how to toggle the color, of course. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna close out of this. It's gonna be black for a bit. Um, it's okay if we come here. Um, now we wanna go back to the tree scene here, and in the tree scene, we actually want to have like we have the area and everything. We want to have a canvas layer. Canvas layer is basically like um, a hard thing. Like you have hard in the game with your games um so you can add you know the ui elements to the canvas layer i'm just gonna call it hard and then i'm gonna save the scene and also i'm gonna add a control mode <coughs> this basically just means that we can add um like you know the ui elements to this node and align them properly so i'm gonna set the layout to be full red and I'm gonna add um, a color picker as a children, as a, as a child, like here. Um, now this is the node that we can use to change the color, and we can you know pick the color and then apply it to the three D objects that we whatever the object we want to change to, um, change the color of. Um, and also along with this, we kind of need we can set it to be center. Um, it's up to you, you can change this position wherever you want it to be. Um, or you also, I'm also gonna add a texture button. Um, there's a reason, I will tell you why I'm adding this button, but let's check. Um, here I can add the texture button, make sure it's above, in the hierarchy, it's above the color picker, and then set the layout to be full like as well, and you can just check the expand button if you want. Um, yeah, and then I think we, as in terms of like in the same tree, we are kind of done for now. And I can go back to the color picker and then go to the node section and then connect the signal for the the, the, the color change signal. Like we want to connect it to a function. And then I just hit right click and then connect. And then I can just hit connect to the trees. You know, it's correct here, creasing, and then, you know, as a function, and then whatever color we set it to be in this color picker is gonna, you know, send this color values, RGBA values here in this function, and then we can use it further for our own advantage. Um, now I wanna connect one more signal, um, this texture button one, um, and then we can connect the press signal for this texture button and then just hit connect and now whenever this is pressed this function is gonna be called now um back to the pre scene um here we are kind of changing the colors um and here is actually what happens like if I go back to the the the, the world environment scene basically what's happening is if we click here there's an area node if we go to the tree here it detects the click and then it passes the click here and then it says to change the color. Um change the color function just basically changes changing it to a default color which is like the other color which is like the pink and then you know it stores the previous color which is which was like something green this this color. Um so what we wanna do is we wanna make it dynamic instead of just this we wanna make it like you know the other color should be dynamic so what we have to do first is instead of changing the color immediately we want to comment this and we want to actually show control node 
show why am I doing this because by default we don't want this to be visible when our game is like running if I open this if I turn it on you can see that you know the color picker is already visible which is not what we want if I go back and then if I go back here, we actually want to, whenever the game starts, we want to hide the control node. If I come back here, we actually want to hide it, and then only show it whenever you click on the tree. Um, okay, so that's for that. And after that, when we change the color, and we get, you know, the signal from the color picker that the color has changed, we can, in here, we can call change color function this function and we can remove it from here um but instead of you know just calling it we want to call it with the color the the the, the color we selected in the color picker but kind of we have to modify this function so we can get the color here as well now error should disappear but it's not using it so what we can do is then um we just said um Material dot albedo color to the color and then for now let's just return. We are not gonna run the code below it. Um, you can delete it. Um, I'm just gonna keep it there until I make sure that it, this works. So yeah, um, we, now we are changing the color. But what about you know after you have changed the color now you want to you know hide this thing, hide this color picker, and then you move on with your game. Um, basically, that's why we have this texture button. So whenever you click outside of this, you know, color picker, it should run this function. And in here, we can just hide the control node. Oops, there. Instead of showing it, we can just hide it. And this should work as well, hopefully. Um, now, when starting the game, you can also put it in the ready function to hide the control node oops, not like this ok so now if I come back to the world environment node um, the scene and if I try to run it let's check um, so what's happening is that if we click here it should show the color picker and then we can change the color here you can see the I can easily change it to be any other color as I'm changing it, changing it like in real time. So, yeah, and you can also you know, play with this slider as well and you know, make it kind of like bluish color or something, whatever you want to make. And then once you are done, you can just click outside and it should just you know disappear. And you can go with do the same with the other um tree as well. But the, 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 the issue is that it kind of appears in the same position maybe you want to set it offset um maybe you want to you know show it in the in size or something um but yeah you can change the color and once you once you're done you can just get outside and it should you know just work yeah so that's what i wanted to show you today i hope you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the more upcoming videos and yeah take care bye bye